Hey everyone, Sunday morning, Mike with this old hot rod, and uh, I'm out here working on the 27T this morning. We got a few people coming over, so I want to kind of get a start on a couple of things I need to work on. First thing I need to work on, the first thing I want to work on, is getting the mounts made for the rear radius rods on the rear axle. So, as you guys know, I'm running a Model A rear axle, and I had to remove the factory radius rods that were on that axle one because they were rotted two because they weren't going to work with the X member the reason they wouldn't work is the X member for one of the reasons that's reason A reason B is the the kick up on the rear axle the rear suspension was modified or the frame section was modified at some point in the past this frame was kicked up in the rear the the height of the frame so that's roughly four inches um, what that what what happens when you do that is the actual the rear end actually sits higher it sits up closer to the frame then when you try to run your radius rods from the outside where they're originally located at the factory they end up hitting the bottom of the frame rails as the suspension compresses so you end up having to move them inbound inside of the frame rails so that's what i'm working on now i'm gonna get some mounts made so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna get busy trying to get these templates made and uh figure out exactly where these radius rods need to go figure out my length figure out how i'm gonna mount them to the torque tube and all the other things i gotta do to get this thing together so that's just one 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 more step one step closer to the ultimate goal which is getting this car done driving and running driving and I don't want to say on the road because it's not gonna really gonna be on the road but I plan on driving it on the road guys so what I ended up grabbing I ended up grabbing the cutoff piece from the the ladder bar setup that I bought for my 34 Ford for the coupe so I'm gonna use that as a template to mark to make my to make my mount and then I'll build it from there down uh, but what I need to do next is I need to get a layout of the actual radius rod itself. So I need to make two of these, the exact same thing, one for each side. What most likely is going to happen is I'm going to end up probably cutting off probably almost two feet of this radius rod. And I'm going to try to retain this mount. So I'm going to try to take this mount off and move it down. I may end up sliding this inside the radius rod and then welding it, drill a couple of holes, maybe do some big plug welds or rosette welds or something. These radius rods aren't super thick, but they don't need to be because I have a torque tube. So these are just kind of to help everything move in unison. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this project will go pretty smooth. It should. I'm gonna use my, my workbench here coffee table so I'll get this template cut out I'll transfer it to my steel which is here this is quarter inch plate I was hoping I could get two out of this I'll do one here and one here it doesn't matter if it's left side or right side they're both going to be identical I hope <laughs> as long as things go the way I want them to I gotta grab the center punch and center punch those holes I get a lot of people that message me and ask me how I know how to do this stuff. And guys, I'm I'm just self-taught. I'm just a guy that always wanted to do this stuff. And I don't have anybody close to me or in my family that ever shown interest in old cars and hot rods like this. You know, we grew up with muscle cars and um you know trucks and jeeps and all that other stuff but nothing nothing like these old hot rods and these cars are something i always had a passion for and always wanted 
all the way through high school and I just always loved old hot rods. I had kids at a really young age. I had to wait. Now my kids are getting a little bit older. I have a little bit of time to myself, myself and Allie. I'm extremely fortunate that I have a girlfriend who really enjoys the, the lifestyle, let's say, let's call it, for hot rods. Uh, just to change up a real for a second. I save every single template I ever make, I save it. And I write on the back what it's for. If I ever need to go back to it, I have it. So I always save my templates. So throw this in my pocket, I'm gonna grab my cutoff wheel, I'm gonna get start cutting these out. It's gonna take a little while because it's a quarter inch plate. Alright, let's get this cut out. I'm gonna end up modifying my plan. I'm gonna use a three inch hole saw to cut the hole for the axle tube. So instead of using this one, I'm gonna use this one over here. Miss Allie's home. She was off with her friends this morning having breakfast. Hi! What's up everyone? I had a bunch of people over. People stopped by checking out the tea. Some other friends that popped around, popped over. Uh, I'm laying on the ground, I'm underneath the back of the tea. And I got, as you saw, my brackets shaped up, cleaned up, cut out, drilled, the whole deal. And I'm gonna show you where, they're ex where exactly they're gonna go on these frame rails.
I, except, sorry. I'm going to show you where they're going to mount on the axle tube. All right, so this is the driver's side. And what I want to do is I want to put them outbound as far as I can. So the furthest point I can put them is in this area here. So I'm going to get this area of the rear axle cleaned up right now and get these mounts kind of get these mounts tacked in place. All right, so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah. All right, let me go grab my uh, my grinder so I can clean all the junk off this axle. this to excuse me to mount up onto the front of the torque tube right in the back of the X member I'll show you guys sorry it's, it's a little difficult doing this stuff under the car so I need right where that torque tube goes into that cradle just the back side of it is where I need these radius rods to mount and the ends of the radius rods has a hole in it. I want those holes to be able to mount there. In order to do that, I need to section these radius rods. So I need the length from where I'm gonna mount the radius rods underneath the torque tube, all the way back to the center of the bottom side of the axle tube. That will tell me where I need to mount my bracket. And then I gotta cut those to length I'll bolt the radius rod to the bracket. I'll bolt the radius rod to my bracket. I'll cut them to the length I need them to, to be at, minus the mount. And then I'll, I can get my angle with like a, like a floor jack. I'll put it up on a floor jack up there where it's gonna be mounted. And then I'll know the angle to mount, to weld my bracket to. I'll be able with the floor jack underneath. I'll be able to. I'll know what angle to mount my bracket at. As soon as that's done, I'll get the other side done, and, and then I'll be able to mount the radius rods in the front up there. I just got to find something, piece of steel with a metal metal collar, piece of steel to mount that to to weld as a bung. I'll be good to go. You get it? You follow me? I hope so. I don't know what I'm doing, so hopefully someone else does. All right, so what I need to do is measure just behind the torque, where the torque tube goes into, just behind the X member, the cradle, to the center of my axle tube. Right here, 43 inches. So I need 43 inches total. And that's taking into account this end. So I'm gonna cut this end. I'll probably take, probably cut it back like six inches from the weld. I'll get that cleaned up. And that's what's gonna slide into the radius rod, the part that I'm, I'm gonna mount to the back half of the car. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go from there. We'll see how it works. I may end up having to, because it goes from round to oval. So we'll see if I got to put like a sleeve over it or something, I will. I don't, I don't think I'll need to. We'll see. I don't think I'll need to. All right, so I'm going to measure six inches back, cut this off, and then 43 inches. 
I'll need 43 inches from the front, from the center, forwards. 43 inches. So let's get this measured up and cut up, cut apart. All right, so 43 inches total. 43 inches total minus. Oh, that's three. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with 40 inches and then see where I'm at. I'm gonna start with 40 inches and then I'll have this here. That'll be my three inches that I'll leave outside of the radius rod. Hopefully this will fit inside. I may have to pound it flat a little bit. I may have to modify it, but I'm hoping I can get this inside the radius rod, the back portion. All right, let's get this cut. See if I can get this flattened out a little. To try to get it in that tube. So I need to I need to slide this down inside and then weld it. I'll get a couple of plug welds and then I'll weld it around this outside edge. But I gotta flatten this out some. I gotta oval it. So let me go grab a sledgehammer and see if I can get that done. Guys, hear the puppy walking. They're outside in the pen. All right, so I got three inches that's going to stick out of that. So what I think I'm going to end up having to do is a couple of slices in this to narrow it so I can get it to fit inside this tube. It's really close, but just not close enough and I don't trust it to just weld it to butt weld it it's not the right thing to do I want it to slide in there as far as I can get it to go so I'm gonna make a few cuts and then I'll weld it and then uh, get it slid inside the tube That's it, slid down inside the radius rod. So now I'm gonna make sure I have measurement. 42 and a half, 42. So 
the total length was around 43. I have 42, so this will be about an inch further back than the back of the cradle. So it'll be perfect, perfect length. So what I need to do now is recreate this on the other side. This is my driver's side. So that's my driver's side. This will be my passenger side. Yep. All right, cool. Let's try to get you guys where you can see this. I need to go get hardware still for this mount, but I got the end pounded in. It's not welded yet. I don't want to weld it quite yet. But I just want to make sure I got my length right. That will mount right underneath the bottom of the torque tube. Perfect. And that will follow the X, the frame on the X member. So roughly in this area here is where I need to get that mounted. I'm going to grab a jack, put this radius rod in the front of the jack, grab some hardware, get this bolted on, and uh, I'll get this tacked in place. All right, so you can see I kind of just have it set in place. The front is tucked up underneath the jack. You can see it's hitting the bottom of the torque tube. So give or take roughly, that's where it's gonna be placed. I have a little, I have a little bit of play in the bolt. These are smaller bolts than what I need. I need half inch bolts. These are only 7 16 but it's good enough to get everything mounted. I have a Sharpie scribe, a mark on the tube where it needs to go. So what I'm gonna do is get this tacked in place while the front is still up on the jack. Then I'll be able to pull this down and weld the front portion. So I want to be able to see the scribe from the inside. help if I put the ground on. Alright. That's good. That's quarter inch plate. That should be more than enough to hold that in place. So now... Good enough. I don't need to finish weld it yet. I can do it when it's apart and on the bench before paint. I'm just going to take another quick measurement so I have the measurement I need so I can build the passenger side. this next one built real quick and then uh, that'll be it for me for the day.
more poop in here. Look at this. Look at the poop. Ugh. <laughs> Look at that duty that was in there. Ugh. So I need to mount it like that. I need to pound it in. So I'll get this one tacked in place, get this mount mounted. Six and a half inches from the back, the back of the uh, the bell on the end with a uh, what do you call it? Backing plate mounts. Still got my flat tire block of wood in there. Hopefully that's not going to be in my way. It's going to be close, but I think I'll clear it. I throw this other radius rod up in there just so it's in position, and I can actually. Maybe clamp, clamp the passenger side to this side. It'd make my life a little easier. in place fire up the water fire up the metal glue machine Bolt it back up and I can do the rest when the car is taken apart. Which hopefully won't be that long away, far away. Uh, grab some wrenches and get those tightened up. That'll be good to go. You can see my mounts, where they're mounted. I want to see if I can get a good shot get a good shot of them there you go you can see the space I have how they follow the X member it's the same 
It's the same on both sides. Sorry, I got the wooden block there, but you can see the space. You got plenty of room for the travel, for everything to move and do what it needs to do without anything getting in its way. Let this jack down. And you can see up front, this is the cradle for where the X meets in the center. These are the front ends of my radius rods. And so what's gonna happen is, when I undo this bolt, loosen the bolts in the back, I'll be able to separate these and I'll just weld a bung here down off the axle, off the bottom of the torque tube to mount these two. And that'll be it, that'll be done. So I'm happy with that. One more thing off the list, brakes and clutch pedal are next. I'll get those taken care of and I may end up having to redo the steering. I don't know that the steering that I have set up is gonna work. Uh, so I may end up going with an F1 steering box, which I have. I have one of those and I think I have one or two F100 steering boxes in my pile. So that's it for me for the day. Allie's off food shopping. I got a few things to do. I'm gonna go pick up one of my buddies. He's got a pretty cool old Survivor hot rod, 32, 32 Ford Coupe, five window. Uh, I'm gonna go over there, go talk to him. He's got some parts that he wants to get rid of. He called me up and uh, see what he's got. I'm gonna take the 30 Coupe and uh, just go for riding hot rods. It's a beautiful day to do it. So thanks guys, appreciate you guys watching, following along. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Really appreciate the support. You know, Rear suspension's done, front suspension's done, front shocks are done. I got a finish mount. I got to finish weld my shock mounts, but I'll pop those off and get those welded. Those are done. So the next big thing is brakes, clutch, steering. And then I'm going to get to work on um, floor pan in the trunk, get the fuel tank in. I got the fuel tank cleaning kit. I know I've mentioned it in one of the other videos. I'll show you guys the one I got. Got it on eBay. Had money in my PayPal, so I figured might as well spend that money. I'm trying not to spend money on the car, but unfortunately you have to spend some. This is the kit that I bought, the fuel, fuel tank liner kit. Uh, seals, leaks, and stops rust. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, if, you guys, if you guys have used that kit and you had good luck with it, hopefully you have, just comment down below. Let me know how you guys made out with it. If there were any tricks or tips that you could give me. Uh, on this tank, this is obviously an earlier Model T fuel tank. Uh, the baffle, there's a baffle inside the tank. So I opened up this tank yesterday and looked inside because there's something rolling around in there. It's actually like the whole baffle. It's, it's come apart. So what I think I may end up doing is on the back side of the tank where you can't see, depending on which side I put facing out, I'm probably gonna cut, there's already a seam here where the tank is manufactured. Probably gonna cut, fold it up, pull that baffle out, and then I'll really be able to get in there and clean it good. And then I'm gonna weld that tank back up. So uh, that's gonna happen probably in the next week or so. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming together pretty quick, guys. I'll be able to pull that motor and transmission back out once I get the, the clutch pedal and everything working right. Uh, I gotta bolt the solder in, get the generator, you know. Uh, my buddy Joe came over this morning. He helped me drop the steering arms on the 34 and my 29 sedan. I'm probably just gonna do my own, do them myself, or at least try to do them myself on this car. If I screw up, I have an extra set of spindles I can use if, God forbid, if need be, or actually two sets maybe. Uh, but we talked about throwing a top on this car. And it's not going to be a tall, old, hokey top. It's going to be a hot rod top. So in order to make that happen, i got to cut this seat pan out, this riser. And I'm going to literally, my ass is going to be on the floor. So I was sitting in the car today for really the first time. I can totally make it happen. So we're going to try to throw a bitchin' Carson-style top on that car. Uh, who knows? Maybe in the next couple of weeks. So that ought to come together pretty quick, I hope. 
I'm gonna go pick up all the parts that I need for that. And uh, we're gonna get cranking on that. He's, he's excited, he's got a 32 Roadster he's building and he wants some practice on a convertible top before he does his on his car. And uh, I said, hey, you can practice on this, let's throw a top on it. And we kind of laid out an idea of how it was gonna go and he was like, dude, this thing is gonna look so killer with a top on it. So I think we're gonna put a top on this car. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm excited. I got a month before the Gathering of the Faithful. Gathering of the Faithful is October 16th, Middleborough, Mass. Do a search online. I think there's some Facebook pages for the group as well. After the show, if they're local and they're driving their hot rods, they just come to my house afterwards, hang out, get some buffet stuff going, all the little fixings and whatnot. Allie and I usually make some food, but I want to try to keep it a little bit simple this year because I just got all this crap on my plate to be cooking all types of food and all types of stuff that I usually do. Probably won't happen, but we're gonna have some people over after the after the show. So if you guys are local and you wanna take a ride over, say hello, hang out, check out the T Roadster in person, check out the 34, whatever, talk hot rods with myself and a ton of other people, take a ride by. Got plenty of videos coming up for the 27 Roadster. So keep an eye out, like, subscribe, comment, share the channel if you guys know anybody that would be into this type of car. What I'm building, it's an old school hot rod. Share the channel, post it up in your Facebook, share it on Instagram. Tell people, hey, check this guy out. Mike, this old hot rod, building a bitchin' ass T-Roadster. Gotta check him out. So thanks guys, appreciate it. See you guys soon, later, bye.